Hi, Lindsay. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Um, what would you like to talk about today? Yeah, so I've kind of been thinking and um, my brother had said a comment the other month about um, me leaving you and when I went to college and that's just kind of been, um, I don't know, I, feel, I guess I feel bad about it and uh, that's not the way I see it, but that's the way he sees it as leaving, and so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about that relationship and yeah. try to help it. Right, right, okay, so, um, what did he, what did he say when, uh, he brought up like that last month or whatever? <laughs> yeah, so we were doing something, and then, um, I, I kind of forget the conversation, but it was something along the lines of, I was saying, like, that I'll be here, or like, yeah. I'll be here if you need anything. And then he goes, no, you won't, because you already left me when you went to college. Okay. And he kind of said it like a joke, but I feel like it was like underlying, like a little bit of hurt. Yeah. Yeah. And then I kind of just, I just said, I didn't leave you, but if that's the way he sees it. Right. Yeah. Right. So he feels like you left him when you went to college. Yeah. Okay, um, what would you say, how is your guys' relationship? What is it like? Um, I used to be really close, kind of. Okay. Yeah, I raised him growing up. Okay. Um, like taught him school and brought him to everything. Um, <laughs> he right. got his meals, stuff like that. And so we were always super, super close. Even when I went to college, every time I come back, I hang out with him at night, whether we like watch a show together or we'll play his favorite game, which is Spy Alley. Oh. Every time, yeah. I don't like it, but we play it every time. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and then since, and also now that he's getting kind of older, he's getting very distant and like, um, like, you know, it's too cool for school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and right. so, yeah, we definitely don't communicate as much. Um, yeah. Okay, so would you say communication would be a target change in this? Yeah, okay, to, I think so. To help your guys' relationship, mm -hmm. would that be, um, and I, I, identifying for change, would that be a specific yeah. change that you would like to see? Yeah, yeah. I would say that, because I think that's like, would be the next step, yes. I mean, in helping the relationship, because, yeah, right. I don't know. Okay. How, uh, going forward, how do you think, what would be a first step to improve your communication or improve the relationship that, yeah. Yeah. Seems... Um, I would say, um, probably just talking to him a little bit more, like, um, he's really bad at texting now. He, like, takes, like, two days to respond. <laughs> and I don't know if he'll answer my phone calls, but I guess I don't know unless I start somewhere. Right, so, okay, okay. So that's a first, that's a first step. Yeah. We, you could start by putting in more effort yourself, so maybe calling him more or, yeah. um, I don't know, could you send him something in the mail or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. could do that. Just show him that I'm still here. Right, show right. Even though you're busy, you're still thinking about <laughs> yeah. him, and yeah, because I, um, I think an important thing would be just showing him that you're still there and that you really haven't um, left. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so. So, um, how do you, how would you feel about? this plan going forward or how how would he feel about yeah. um i think he would feel more loved even if he doesn't show up right it. <laughs> right okay but i think on the it would be a positive yeah if i just yeah okay I, that's the thing i would actually really like to do is be more intentional about that yeah, yeah. do you think um another possible step or plan going forward could you find time i know you're busy with cheer practice and other obligations but to you know go home more and visit visit yeah. him more yeah yeah i don't really like going home okay so that's something i don't do often but right yeah. so what what could be a step 
to involve him and you like getting together you know what yeah. i mean like could we plan yeah something i know yeah. he's super busy too right right but so, i feel like holidays coming up yes holidays and then when i do go home just being intentional about that time yep. okay probably would okay help. yeah okay okay so uh with the steps that we have identified going forward we're going to start with communicating um putting more effort into communicating him if that's calling him yeah um will, will we try to do that this next week or how how should we yeah yeah i think maybe just like starting with one time or two times a week okay just because i don't want to annoy him right. and, and you're both busy like yes. you said so um yeah, and okay. I think maybe starting, I think text is the best way to reach him. I'd also like to FaceTime him sometime, maybe just randomly. Right, fun. right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That sounds like a good first few steps that we have planned out. Um, so next week when you come back, let's talk about those those two steps and how they went and if, if you were successful on reaching him. Yeah. Um, and then... Yeah. Go from there. Yeah. Okay, that, that sounds sound great. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yes.